Oh, looks like we're close. Our undisclosed secret location is just around the corner, dudes. Let's go do this, because it's going to get crazy. <laughs> Bros, what's going on? Danny Gun checking in. Another epic vlog coming your way. Today, we're meeting Tommy at a secret, secret, undisclosed location. We got hit hard with snow, so... uh. I don't know how Tommy's gonna meet me there, but hopefully he makes it there safe. He wasn't at the house, so I think he got snowed in wherever he was last night. I'm gonna have to do a little pit stop and pick up a few things. This place is packed. Can you see the car lineup? Can I get a large um, double-double? Large coffee double-double. And just a honey cruel donut. And a honey cruel appetite. This'll keep me warm. This will keep me fed. Bros, I see a lot of comments on Gun vs. Gun and on this big boy toy channel. Uh, saying that, you know, every time I say, oh, I just came back from Toys R Us, people are saying, Toys R Us doesn't exist, you're a liar, you're making this thing up. Only in Danny's world does Toys R Us exist. Well, my friends, you guys are all noobs. Whoever said that is a noob. You know why? Because that right over there is Toys R Us, dudes! <laughs> Undisclosed secret location is Toys R Us. Now, how does this store exist? How is this even possible? Where I'm in Canada, we live in Canada, bros. That's the only one massive advantage we have over US right now is that we have Toys R Us and every single Toys R Us in US has closed, but not in Canada, they're still available. And dudes, we're gonna go inside, we're gonna go see what kind of Nerf Blasters they have. Now, I'm still waiting for Tommy, so hopefully that guy shows up in the next half an hour. If he doesn't, I'm going in solo. Dudes, it's roll up the rim time. I didn't even know. Oh! Now, why do we call it roll up the rim? Well, because you roll up eh, the rim and you see if you win. Let's check this out. Play again? What kind of garbage is this? Why is this Tommy guy? I'm sick of waiting for him. Let me know in the comments below where you guys think Tommy is. You guys gonna have to click like for this store right now. Click like right now. All right, dudes, it doesn't look like Tommy's going to be showing up anytime soon. I have a strong feeling he's snowed in somewhere. Now, I haven't had any contact with him, um, so I don't really know. But we're not going to wait anymore. I think I waited about an hour so far, and I've had enough. We're going to go spend some cold, hard Canadian cash, and we're going to roll inside solo without Tommy. What are you going to do? Can't do much else. Can't do much else, because I'm not going to wait for him anymore. I'm getting hungry again. Let's go. Let's roll. Iron fire, got that. Fire strike with a target, got it. Big raptor strike, double barrel. Oh, got all the Zeus, those are, those are too old. Nothing so far. Artemis, got that. Got the heroes. Nemesis, got it. Atlas, got that as well. Got some Mackie Strike Blasters. Mediator, no, 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 we got all that. Uh, Rampage, Sonic Ice, oh, and uh, Retaliator. Do you have anything new here? Got the, uh, that was the ugly Delta Trooper. Oh, I don't see. I don't see. Oh, uh, maybe the Infamous. That's the only new one in the Thunderhawk. But everything else is like from five years ago. Ah, uh, Rhino Hailfire. No, 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 no. Oh well. They, I see that I have the Prometheus, but I already got that. This is quite lame. Every single gun in here, I have. So um, there's nothing new. I'm not sure what to do. We might have to uh, rethink this, or maybe there's a secret aisle somewhere that I don't know about. Let's go check it out. All right, let's see. Oh, we got some here. Let's check these guys out. Ooh, I don't have this one. Score. I don't have this one, so that's a plus. We're gonna pick this guy up, and now we just gotta find some rival round balls. Wow, they only got this. That's not gonna do. All right, dudes. So this, this was pretty lame, my friends. Uh, we went in there in hopes that we're gonna find some new blasters that uh, that uh, Nerf put out. We were unfortunately unable to find anything new 
I am missing 400 rival rounds. I need to get those today because I wanted to show you how that Nerf Prometheus looks like, the modded one, when you fully load it all the way to the top, when you load up 2,000 rival rounds to it. So uh, I'm gonna go pick that up. We're gonna go home. Hopefully we'll find Tommy somewhere around there as well. All right, bros, we were able to successfully make it out of here uh, to our local Walmart. And uh, I'm gonna park now. Let's go inside and see if they have 400 rival rounds that we need. Dudes, are you kidding me? This is all they have? What? <clears throat> all right, bros, so I had to go talk to the uh, customer service and they were able to look, go in the back and look for some more uh, Nerf stuff and they weren't able to find any blasters, but they were able to find some more of these, well, their Adventure Force uh, rival style balls. So I ended up buying four packs of these. That's 400, so at least we got that done. <sighs> All right, dudes, we're back at home. I just yelled out Tommy 300 times and I was not able to uh, get a response. I don't think he's home. Uh, so anyways, we're gonna have to just plug away. But uh, let's let's uh, show you guys here what we purchased or what I purchased today at Toys R Us. I was only able to get this one thing, which is the Wrath Bolt. It's the Zombie Strike Wrath Bolt. It's like another crossbow style uh, blaster. Got that, because that's the only thing that I did not have. And then we also picked up 400 of the Adventure Force Rival Rounds balls. And we're able to now load up this blaster all the way to the top and put in 2,000 rounds into it. By the way, let's see if we can unbox this uh, Wrath Bolt quickly and see um, how this thing looks. So let's just take a look at it quickly and see what it's all about. Unbox that. Okay, so I see that it's not actually using the um, regular Nerf darts. It's actually using these arrows. All right. Put this over here, just like that. Okay. And then you put the arrow, you slide the arrow inside here. I guess you pull this back first. Yep, do that. And that's what it's all about. Shoot it out. Not too bad. So uh, this Wrath Bolt reminds me a lot, it's a miniature version and it reminds me a lot of this, this thing over here and this thing is the Deadbolt. So check this thing out, a lot bigger version of this thing. Now these two blasters or crossbows use the same type of arrows so that's kind of cool, they're interchangeable. Anyways guys, let's move on, let's go load up the uh, Prometheus and see how that's going to look now. Alright dudes, here we go. Now, here is our modified Nerf Prometheus as you saw in our past video. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm going to post a link to it up top here. You can check it out. Now in that video, we took out these 1,600 rounds and shot them up at some red cups and we unleashed holy hell in the house pretty much. Now I grabbed all those balls that we unloaded, loaded them back into the blaster right here. It's locked and loaded with 1,600 Ravel rounds right now. And so I was able to, like I said, in Walmart today, buy 400 more. So we have 400 more here, as you can tell. And I ordered 200 more of these online. These, just, these actually came today. So we have 600 right now. So let's see if these 600 will fit in there. And if we can go over 2,000 on this blaster, that's gonna be epic. Now, if you haven't seen this mod and how it works, go check out this video. Like I said, I'm going to post a link to it up top here. Go check it out uh, or check it out at the end, whatever you want. But uh, let's load this thing up and see how many more it'll take. Here we go, dudes. This is 100 more. 1,700. This is 100 more. 1,800 right in here. All right, so I unloaded the 100 in here. Let's load that up. 100 more. 1,900 dudes, let's pop in 100 more. 2,000 dudes. 2,000 Right to the very top. Wow, there we go. So, I guess these were extra. I can pop in probably 50 to 60 more, but we are at 2 thousand rival rounds right there right inside so there you go this thing will take two thousand as you can see the only thing I have to do now is I actually have to make 
a little bit of a lid up top here that actually closes and so that these balls now don't fall out so we're gonna have to kind of do that as well but one thing I wanted to do at the end and show you uh, as well is how to return this blaster this Prometheus and it's pretty heavy right now uh, to its stock shape and look so the way to do that is we're gonna have to actually unload all these balls out back into this hopefully they all fit in there so that this thing uh, empties out and then I'll show you how to remove it quite simply and then you can actually pop it right back as well so uh, let's go do that and show you Guys, what do you think of this chop stock that I got? It's actually pretty cool. You can actually extend it as well like that. Uh, looks like an ax. You can actually take it off obviously. You can take it off obviously and possibly use as an ax as well and chop some zombies away. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think of it in the comments below if you like this. Uh, attachment or not. If you want to see more pictures of this uh, attachment and how it looks on this blaster, go check me out on Instagram at Machine Gun Danny. I post a lot of Nerf mod pictures and just blaster pictures and stuff and behind the scenes stuff as well. Check this out. This here is a twin slice attachment as well. You got two blades spinning at the uh, very front of the blaster. It uh, looks pretty cool. I like it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Click like for it. And like I said, if you want to see detailed pictures of it, go check me out at Instagram at Machine Gun Danny. All right, dude, so check it out. If you want to remove this mod, it's quite simple. You just come down here, you cut this, these two uh, on each side. Basically, there's four of them. You cut them up like that, like that. And this whole piece just comes off. There we go, just like that. Take that off. So just like that, this blaster is back to its original stock look. It looks like nothing has ever been changed to it or modified. Check that out. You always have this extended hopper that you can pop onto it. When this blaster is loaded up with 2000 rounds with this mod, uh, nothing else comes close. No other blaster compares to it. So uh, why would I keep it stock? I want it to have 2000 rounds all the time, locked and loaded, ready to go. So uh, I'm gonna put it right back. And just like that, the mod is right back on. We just have to load it up with our rival rounds. Let's do it. And here's our blaster, fully loaded, 2,000 rounds right up in there, ready to be shot out. Thank you for watching. I guess we'll figure out where Tommy was in the next vlog. He was probably stuck somewhere uh, in the snow, I bet you. Um, and like I said, if you haven't seen some of our past videos, some of the mods that we've done in the past, or a mod of this Prometheus, go check out our previous videos. We're going to post them at the end of this video. We're going to post the links and check them out. But uh, for now, make sure you guys click like, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you in the next one.